Well, you mentioned Middlesbrough. I mean, it certainly ad further adds to this occasion that both of you go into the game in, in cracking form. Yeah, so it means that you're playing... Listen, we're playing... All, all teams are tough. I, I say it all the time. If you're not on it, everyone's got moments. Everyone's got good players. Um, we try and control as much of the game as possible to give ourselves as much chance of winning. And we'll do the same against Middlesbrough. But they're in that moment as well and they'll feel like they're controlling a lot of the game with and without the ball and doing enough to win games. So... It's going to be a good game. People will sort of earmark and all the lines come out about six-pointers and what might happen to Middlesbrough if Sheffield United win, etc. But it, I suppose it's evidence that in the last sort of three or four months of the season, each game just seems that bit more important. Yeah, they do. Um, listen, we know what we could probably do to Middlesbrough if we win, but we're not, it's, not, it's no different approach to us. I think it probably will be, if I was Michael, it probably would be for them. Um, you know, with... with where we are with the gap, uh, with the game. It's more about us accumulating the points from the 16 games rather than putting too much focus on one game and then, you know, not dealing with the consequences and thinking we've done it if we win and panicking if we lose. It's not. It's, as I said it before, it's the same process for each of these games because regardless what happens on Wednesday against Borough, Millwall's a huge game, Watford's a huge game. Um, so, yeah. Big game, it'll be great here, it's, it's a, it's a midweek, it's under the lights and everyone will talk it up so it'll be a real good atmosphere but our approach will be the same as it's been for this one today. Uh, just finally, um, Billy Sharp hobbled off, is that a concern at all? Yeah it is, if I see Billy hobbling it means there's something wrong, like I'm not, you know, so I'm not going to know what it, what it is but my first thought now without having spoke to him is he's going to be out. Um, that Fleck and McBurney mm. got some, well Fleck quite pointedly got some football for the first time in a long time and McBurney stepped up his rehab, didn't he? So how pleasing is that? Yeah, Ollie trained with us when we spoke, uh, no reaction. Um, and it was good when I named the team. I know he's wanted to start, disappointed, so I actually took that as right, he's fit. Do you know what I mean? Because I know he would have said he wasn't anyway, so, um, so it's good. He's got some more minutes, which is great. Um, and, and provide him, touch wood, there's no reaction to what he's done today, because it will probably be a step up from yesterday, certainly. Um, he's fit, that's fine. Um, yeah, Flecky back, he's good. Obviously, Kieran's back and involved, and every day he trains, that's better. But um, in that game today, it was right to put the players on at the top end in, in the energy that we needed, and also just the way the game was going and how the boys in the back five were, um, were dealing with what, with what we asked of them.